What is up, boys and girls? Welcome back. This is Owlbite, and we're looking at the new Dodgy skin, Foxy Lady Dodgy. Uh, we're playing a Joust Smash just because I feel like she she bodes better in this mode. Um, and yeah, so overall, my my overall impressions of the skin is that it's freaking awesome. I'm not a big Dodgy fan. Like I don't necessarily like her as an assassin. She's really good, like mid to late game. However, her early game kind of suffers, so I don't really play her since my um, my mode of choice is Conquest. However, in Joust, in Clash, in those game modes, she actually does fairly well. Um, and she's able to output so much damage, and she basically has a blink in her fucking kit. Like, that's legit. Um, what I would be looking for is... Um, actually, this is my second time recording this. Last time I went like 17-5 and something. Um, but they had a cuckoo on the on the enemy team before. And um crap, I wanna get the hell out of there. Yeah. Um that's kinda what I figured would, would happen. Um Anubis is just so nasty early game. Hmm. All right. All right. So, um, before they had a cuckoo, and I was able to really just like kind of be like, "Hey, I'm gonna pick on cuckoo." So, because he has no escape, I could do the same thing with Anubis. The only thing with Anubis is I'm gonna need a brawler, speed stick, or another anti heal item, just because, um, just because. Well, he has so much life steal. I'm pretty sure he's already going into life steal, and there you go. Uh, Tiny Trinket is going to Bancroft's, I believe. Um, and yeah, so... So just being able to, um, to negate some of that heal would be fantastic. There you go. We'll just clear that. And then we're going back to we're gonna back to base. Um, because we are really low on health. And I really want shoes. Um, we'll get one more HP pot just to kind of round ourselves out. Uh, after this... Um, seeing as we have Anubis, we might want to kind of rush Brawlers at some point. Um, but I think we're going to get Yodin's first, just for the extra CDR. Um, I would run in there if I wasn't so scared of their whole enemy team. <laughs> I mean, Poseidon has fantastic clear. Once he has his Kraken, uh, we're going to be able to get some of their, um, some of their actives off. I'm guessing they all have beads they don't have ages that's interesting all right um so once he has his kraken he's actually if he hits it he's, he's gonna be able to do lots of damage and i'll be able to follow up on it but until then i can't really do that um i mean if you could like actually hit most of that that'd be great um hmm all right, it's it's kind of it's kind of it's gonna be not as an exciting game. Last game was really fun. I'm really sad I didn't start my recording for that one. Uh, but instead of using Shadow Play, which is what I, I used to use to record, um, now I'm using uh, OBS. So there's that. All right, got my ult. Hmm. Whoa. God damn it. That sucks. <laughs> I... I almost had that kill. Almost. All right, well, he got away. We were able to trade one for one. I believe we got first kill, so at least there's that going in our favor. Actually, I'm going to take that. All right, you waste your ult. There we go. Get the hell out of here. Colon, get that shit out of here. All right. Uh, we're going to be going to Yodin's. Um, the extra CDR is going to really help. Um, aside from that, just um, the power, the power of the mana. Um, Yodin's gives you a little bit of everything. It's kind of been a staple for assassins and ability um, 
ability-based gods in general. Gods and goddesses, I guess. Um, Alright. So that Anubis looks very, very tasty. We'll go ahead. Ooh. Kind of flipped there a little bit. Um, a little bit too much. Uh, we're going to go for blue and then we'll um, go back to lane. Clear that up. Uh, yeah, but Dodgy's able to single target enemies so effectively. Um, even at this point, like I would say her damage is like really, really good. No, I don't. I actually don't want to go into that. Because um, I am afraid. I don't think Anubis used his ult yet. So I'm just afraid of his ult and... What I'm going to use to kind of counteract that is, um, well, Bracer I had up online, but I also want to use my ult to kind of try to mitigate some of that damage. Um, I know um, Korn's beads are down um, and all that good jazz, so Excellent. at least we have that. I believe Anubis also uses his, his beads uh, when Poseidon crackened him, but I'm not entirely sure of that either. Um, just looking for the right time to go in, really. There we go. There we go. <clears throat> Good engagement. Good engagement. Dun, dun. I love that music. Oh yeah, by the way, this, this video is mostly to uh, look at the new skin as opposed to like anything else. Thanks, bud. Thanks for telling me something I already knew. Um, no, but in all honesty, um... We're gonna go Brawlers. We're gonna go Brawlers third item. Um, but yeah, this skin is super awesome. I'm not a big fan of Dodgy, but uh, the music on her ult, the look of the skin is really, really cool. Um, and it's just, I, I really like the skin. If you could pick this one up, between this one and the Kuzembo one, I would definitely pick this one, even if you're not a Dodgy fan like, like I am. Like, it's such a cool skin. It's a pleasure to play. And uh, her... And her taunts, her her you rocks. Have you looked in the mirror lately? You're such a boss. You're such a boss. Like the accent on it, like everything about this this skin is pretty damn cool. Um, I really want to go for that Anubis. Like I really, really do. <laughs> there we go. Oh god. All right. Help. Help. All right. I'm out. There we go. All right, we got away. We got away. Hey. Ah, <laughs> oh, all right. Feel pretty good. Um, we're gonna keep going to brawlers. Um, that was a little bit risky. It was a little bit risky going back in there. Um, Poseidon ended up dying. Um, but I think he also took the kill with him, so he, at least he got the corn, I believe. Um. So there's that. Crap. All right. Well, uh, now we have to deal with an Anubis with a um, a red buff, which I am not a big fan of. <laughs> like, not at all. All right. Let's um, let's just get some of this experience. Um, I don't want to attack because I always like using my one before I go in. Uh, that way you don't have to proc it as soon as you use your three. Um, it's just three you use your one you use your three and you go in and you do lots of damage then you use your three to chase or run away you use your ult to secure kills or to set up kills for your enemy team and that's kind of how i play dodgy so i go two one three for old and first priority uh, pretty pretty standard um two for the damage one for the single target damage uh three does do more damage i believe as you go but i mean the cooldown doesn't go down on it yeah, the cooldown doesn't go down on it, so there's no reason to level it up early. And then, obviously, her ult allows her to do lots of damage, kind of displaces teams to a certain extent, and all that good stuff. So, um, let's see. Gukolin has protections already. Um, all right. There we go. All right. We got his, his beads. Um, even though we didn't get the kill there, we got his beads. So 
we're good on that front. Uh, my my ult should be up before his uh, beads are. So we're looking pretty good there. We did lose uh, red buff. All right. All right, we forced the dash out of him. <sighs> Trying like it's harder this game than last game just because um, a lot of them do have escapes. Uh, Colin has an escape. Uh, this uh, corn has an escape. The only one that doesn't have an escape is is um, freaking Anubis, but Anubis scares me. So there's that. You know, <laughs> there's there's a lot to think about here. Uh, there's no need to go back to base except for maybe finishing up brawlers. Um, and it seems like base took the defensive stance at this point now. Uh, so we're going to be looking to, I don't know, do something. We have to we have to do something. We have to aggress on them at some point. Um, my ult is going to be up. So maybe I could go in, use my ult, aggress on them that way. Um, but now that corn's back, it's I don't want to go in on three people by myself as a squishy without any protections. If you feel. Um... There we go. Huh. Well, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Indeed. Hmm. I'm not sure what happened to... I'm not sure what exactly happened to... Um, to my boys there, but they got destroyed. I think it might have been the. It might have been the freaking. It might have been the the Nubis alt that got him. Uh, I can't I can't verify or deny that. Um, but you know. Um, and I would have used Bracer to get my cooldowns down, but um, in this patch they basically only uh, gave that to. All right. Well. All right. Well, not bad. We should be able to get two kills off of this if they stop missing, which apparently they're just not going to stop missing. So that sucks. Um, yeah, Anubis does lots of damage. He's, he's never going to stop doing lots of damage. Um, and the fact that I was in a small, like, the small lane, I guess, is the proper way to say that, um, just made it even harder for me. Um, let's see. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. All right. So let's get let's get back. Um, at this point, we need to win. We have to uh, knock out their tower, um, obviously, so that way we can get the phoenix. Once we get like close to phoenix, we could actually start trying to aggress a little bit. In the sense that. Hmm. I really want to, I really want that Anubis. God damn it, Anubis! Get your ass over here! Alright. Yeah, they're playing so defensively, and it's, it's actually kind of obnoxious. Um, and with this Anubis having so much lifesteal with Bancrofts at this point, plus his passive, like, it's going to be hard to just kind of pick him off when he's at low HP. Um, let's see, Poseidon's, he's going into, I'm not sure, I mean, usually people went to gem and, um, added Hasten Fatalis to it, but Hasten's not in the game anymore, so I'm, I'm curious to see what his build is going to be, um, I hate you Anubis, I hate you so much, <laughs> I just want you to die. I was already on my tower. That sucks. Hey, good kill. Good pickup. You guys should be both be able to kill this Kukolin. He just, he's just so tanky. I might... I'm, I'm not going to be able to attack him anymore. With, a, with three physical protection items, yeah. I'm not going to be able to do any damage to him unless I have uh, Times Bane, which is the next item we're going to be going to. Um... All right, I got this. Don't worry, boys. I got this. Um, 
Yeah, that sucks. I was on my Paolo at that point, but I still got, like, hit, I guess. Hmm. There you go. I really want that. I really, really want that. All right. Well, since you cleared it, I'll give it to you. Hmm. All right. Well, again, those beads, those beads. I really want to go in on that corn. On my way. I really, really do. <laughs> well, we were able to set up for for two of those kills. Might be a clean right here. There you go. You know what? I'll 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 take the the two assists. All right. Um. Let's see. Um, yeah, we need Titan's Bane so we could just, just start tearing through these guys. Uh, we should be able to take that and maybe even Fire Giant. Or not Fire Giant, Bull King. Uh, but it seems like they're not going to be going for Bull King. So, oh well, RIP for that. Um, Alright, let's see, let's see. Be right back. I mean, the fact that I was able to... This guy's like, they took it out with the patch, dude. <laughs> it's in there, though? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe. I've, I've heard about that. Okay. There we go. An ally has fallen. Are you fucking kidding me? Retreat. An enemy has been slain. I got knocked out of my teleport there. That was really good from the colon. Like, extremely good. Yeah. That could colon is going to be a problem because none of us can do enough damage to take him down. Oh, that was so good from the colon. I had that freaking Anubis. I had him. I had him in the palm of my hands. Uh, he's not gonna be. The good thing is that since he's not building lots of damage, like the only don't well, with vented anger and with mystical mill, that's basically two mystical mills that he has, um, like doing damage to us over time. So as long as we don't try to engage with him and we just kind of just like let him be and target, uh, the corn and the and the freaking Anubis. We'll be we'll be okay. They're at bulking. They're at bulking. They already took bulking. They definitely already took bulking. Yeah. Be careful. Right. Completed. It's completed. We'll just use that up. It's fine if they wanna if if they wanna fight us, we'll fight them. Enemies in right middle back. lane. All right, just want to make sure I have that Titan's Bane, just so I could do that extra damage. Um, yeah, we all have, uh, we all have Brawlers, which is fantastic, uh, for the Anubis at the very least, just so you can't he can't get that much life steal. Um, I'll I'll probably be the one to initiate this fight, um, focusing on Corn and uh, obviously Anubis. There goes his Wrapped. So that goes something, or there goes an ability that I'm afraid of. <laughs> Alright, well. There you go. That was dumb. Why'd I, why'd I do that? I don't know why I used Bracer there. That's my fault. Oh, I really wanted that corn. Once I have my Aegis up, I'll, I'll reinitiate on the corn. Body paper. 
Come on. Well, there you go. It's a uh, wolf. Attack. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. Attack him. Take it. I'll take it. Um, yeah, I mean, I was able to get the corn, <laughs> even if it was with my bleed, but whatever. I could have, I probably could have used Aegis just, um, just to stay alive and then have the, the bleed kill him. But probably the Kukulin would have killed me either way. But, I mean, it's just something to keep in mind. Um, in the heat of the moment, we're just like, I was like, at some point, I was like, all right, I need to retreat. But then I was like, wait, he's actually almost dead. So I need to keep attacking. So, um, you know, if I was able to be a little bit more decisive there, I would have stayed alive. Um, still not a big problem. Cool. And I think we could go... Yeah, we should at least set up an M. Wait. I, I thought it was still up. Or I think I, I thought it went back up. Hey, what's up, Kukulin? There you go. Hmm. Good, good med. Hmm. We were able to take out the corn. And I didn't die, so I think that's a uh, a victory there. Again, I'm gonna be have, I'm gonna have to be the one that initiates here, which kind of sucks. Um, there we go. Um, this it's back up now. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to clear this by myself. No, I'm not gonna be able to do that. No, it's you're gonna die. All right, well, that was that was really close. There we go. We got we got the bull king now. Um, so at this point, we've kind of taken. We're kind of at full effect here. Like we have the buffs, we have uh, we have the lead in gold. Uh, we probably have the lead in experience as well, um, which is fantastic. I saw the Anubis. Be careful. I saw the Anubis somewhere here. God damn, dude. He was able to put his freaking his freaking grasping hands under before he died and that destroyed me. Oh, that sucks. That was a bad engagement. That was a really bad engagement. Um the Poseidon shouldn't have engaged without my support there. Um either that or I should have been there so at least I could have supported him. Uh but unfortunately, that wasn't the case. So Poseidon went down, changed to a 3v2. Um, tried getting the corn down, couldn't get the corn down, and then I took a bunch of damage from that fucking Anubis. Like, that's just one ability, doing that much damage. That took, like, basically half my health. Kind of crazy. Um, Poseidon should be able to defend the Phoenix. Um, their, the enemy Phoenix should be coming up pretty soon. Never mind. Alright. Instead, he bought a pot, I think. Ooh, what's that? Hasten ring. Oh, that's the new hasten of, um, item 4. Uh, specifically for uh, mages. All right, cool. Hmm. Smack. So we kind of lost our. Uh... Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me, though. That that freaking. 
Death Glaze. Or Death King. <laughs> death Glaze, guys. He glazes you to death. Um, uh, no, but that Death Glaze is stupid. Um, it seems like Poseidon just kind of cleaned up there, though. Like, he's, he's doing actually really well. Uh, and Medusa cleared out. Alright, boys and girls. Well, um, that wasn't the best game. Like I said, last game I went like 17 and 5 with Dodgy, but it depends on the team comp. We didn't have a frontliner, and for the most part, I was the one initiating the fights, um, and that hurts an assassin as squishy as Dodgy with, and I didn't build any defenses, and that might be my fault, but it might not be my fault. But anyways, the, the Foxy skin is really cool. The music offer alt is really, really, really cool. Um, and like, just look at it. The bow is really fantastic. I like the sweater. I like the little short shorts and her voice pack is one of my favorite voice packs. Um, so anyways, I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, make sure to smash that like button down below. Subscribe if you want to see some more of my content in the future. And like always, thank you so very much for watching. Hope you're having a fantastic day. See you later. Ugh. See you later. There you go. Didn't mess that up at all. I promise. <laughs>